Brookend is, yeah, so it's four acres and my mum and my stepdad moved here um, two and a half years ago. My stepdad had always wanted to live on the land and grow more food and my mum's always wanted a garden. I don't think she's quite expecting four acres, but she certainly wanted some space to grow. And then they said, you know, you could move in with us. And so, yeah, so I got out in December 2010 and I moved here and the first day it was actually snowing and so I couldn't really tell anything and it was only like three days later when the snow melted that I was like oh my god you know I could just see everywhere the potential you know all the microclimates all the species like this whole place is just filled with fruit and nuts already without even having to do any designing so just felt like a total gift um, so yeah so now I've been here since then and the first year <clears throat> I spent really observing so I didn't I didn't intervene you know we sorted the veg patch out a bit but other than that just yeah did a lot of mapping and a lot of exploring with my mum and her partner about what they want from the land and the future livelihoods and you know their needs and desires and thought about what I want to do as well and um, yeah and then last winter started designing properly and then since about February, we've been implementing here. My mum and my stepdad are really, really supportive. Like, people come and say, oh, Nicole, did you do that? And I'm like, no, my mum did it. Like, we totally co-design as a family and we, we talk about design. So mum will say, oh, we need to redesign this area because, you know, I keep stinging myself on nettles when I'm doing this and this. And so we've kind of got it in our heads as a family. Um, but yeah, my stepdad's very spiritual and very aware of the land and the needs of the land and is very practical. So he's, yeah, he's really involved in the whole thing as well. I might be designing Brookend, you know, this four acre small holding, but really I'm also designing livelihoods. So I'm, you know, designing my own relationship with the land. Each part of the garden has its own little design, you know. Even just where I place my things in the greenhouse is a design. So I think it's really, um, it's really multi-leveled.